just waiting all day Too afraid to try and make a change But now I realize I've got to be brave Thinking out what can't that be me Cause I know I gotta show Yeah, what I'm capable of Because I don't wanna be I'll see the stars If you want it, shine, I'll make it Whoa. I got the white factor And all the roadblocks, they don't face me Whoa. I just knock them down Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh yeah If you want it, you can you take ready? it down Are you ready? Oh. Cause I got the white Yeah, I got the white I got the white factor I'm gonna go hard, I'm not gonna fit I can feel the eyes are watching me There's only one chance, so you can't be late Starting now, I'm making that change It's my goals And I know eh, I gotta make them come true Because I don't wanna be Good afternoon. How are you all doing? You are welcome back to our healthy cooking shows. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Okay, this program is sponsored by Salad Master. Salad Master, we change lives. My name is Jessica, and this is Healthy Living Show, showing every Saturday afternoon at West African time at 12 p.m. Okay, so today I'm going to be cooking an amazing dish, very simple dish, okay? And I'm going to be cooking an amazing, amazing dish. So all I'm going to cook today is water leaf soup and plantain swallow. Okay. So this afternoon, we are going to have fun. You are going to be learning from me. And I'm going to be learning from you too as well. We are going to, we are in this together. We are cooking this food together. And I'm sure, and I know that it's going to come out tasty, nice, and delicious. I'm full of nutrition, nutrients. Yeah. Because I'm cooking this in Salad Master Healthy Cooking System. All right. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel called The Healthy Living Shows. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, why are you doing now? Why are you, what are you waiting for? Please press that red bell so that you get all the upcoming videos once it's uploaded. And we are also streaming live on Facebook at Salad Master in Nigeria. All my health is my wealth. Please follow us on our Instagram handle at Elzel Salad Master. Our office is at number 15, Ibile Close, Odile Victoria Island, Lagos. Like I said, this program is sponsored by Salad Master. Hello, Salad Master all over the world. How are you all doing? Okay, before I introduce my recipes for today, or I introduce my recipes for this amazing delicacy, I'm going to introduce my co-host all the way from United Kingdom, all the way from UK, in person of Mr. Tony Bello. Hello, Mr. Tony. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hello, Chef Jessica. How are you? How are you, Chef Jessica? I'm all right. Good afternoon from Nigeria. Good afternoon. Good afternoon here. Yeah, well, Chef Jessica, you're doing a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic job. Fantastic work in the chef, in the kitchen of Salad Master. And I'd like to say thank you very much on behalf of all the people that support Chef Jessica. Thank you, Chef Jessica. We are living every week. Yeah. So what, what are we cooking, Chef Jessica, again? I'm quite excited. It says water leaf. What is water leaf, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, what is what? Pardon, sir? Water leaf. What is water oh. leaf? Oh, okay. Water leaf is just a normal vegetable that is full of vitamins and it's a very good source of vitamin A. A lot of people don't know that uh, water leaf contains vitamin A. So the same way you are eating your carrot, it's also the same nutrient that you find your water leaf. And it's a very common vegetable here in Nigeria. We cook it a lot and we consume it a lot, but we don't kind of actually cook it separately. So that is the, that is the reason why I chose to prepare water leaf this afternoon so a lot of people can know that you can actually prepare water leaf on his own right wow wow yeah. so water leaf um where can it be found in nigeria 
Is it is it a Nigerian leaf? Where can it be found in Nigeria? Water leaf is grown everywhere. Once you drop the seed, you can even find it in your house, in your garden, in the market, in the shopping mall. Water leaf is grown any, everywhere. And it, it leaves anywhere that is water. Water leaf grows anywhere. Even between, it, it grows even between plants, like flowers. You find water leaf there. Water leaf is grown all over Nigeria. And you can get it in any supermarket or any local market in, the, in Nigeria. So it's, it's, a, it's something that is all over Nigeria. Yeah, can yeah. you find it in the north, northern Nigeria? Can you find it there? Can you find it in the south? Like, is it, is it? But you say it's grown everywhere. Wow. Yeah. So, yes. So, yeah. 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 And it's also known as watercress. So some people might not know it's water leaf. You can also call it as watercress. Watercress. Okay. okay. Yeah. And you, the plantain, plantain swallow. Um, uh, is that in Ghana? Do they use? Do they have plantain swallow in Ghana? Because I know it's some. Or is it Nigerian? Is it a Nigerian thing? Yes, we do. We have yeah. plantain swallow. They have plantain. It depends on what you want to use it for. Plantain is almost everywhere too, depending on what you want to use it for. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're, I'm excited because I'm looking at your kitchen there. I'm seeing some plantain. I'm seeing something red there. What's that? Red? I can see some red there. I can see some green things there. Yeah. Your kitchen some is looking red colorful. chilies. Actually, your kitchen is looking beautiful. Yeah, uh, the food is looking beautiful. The show is the Thank set you. is looking beautiful. You are looking Thank beautiful, you. and we are ready. You know they say they say this: beauty starts from within. Beauty starts from within. If we take care of what we eat, if we make sure we eat healthy, then guess what? We're going to be beautiful inside. And guess what that means? We need to put less foundation on the outside, yeah? You yeah. can cover up the cracks, but guess what? When you're beautiful within, you're not covering up any cracks. So I'm very excited, Chef Jessica, and everyone around the world, thank you very much for Salad Master for sponsoring Chef Jessica all this time. Chef Jessica, this is almost two years, I think, on the show, nearly every week for two years on the show. Thank you, Chef Master. 76-year-old company sponsoring us for this to come out to you and it's not just all about cooking it's cooking healthy remember in nigeria we have a challenge in nigeria i know in most african countries but in nigeria the average life expectancy in nigeria is 57 years old that is terrible we need that 57 years young yeah that's 57 years young we need to extend how we're going to extend it where is the problem where is the problem yeah, the problem also are we designed to stay alive with drugs? The answer is no. Am I right, Jessica? We're not designed yeah, you're to right. stay alive. You're right. yeah. Yeah. We're designed to stay alive because of what we eat. There are some people, unfortunately, Chef Jessica, that cannot live today unless they take their drugs. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, it is. But guess what? Guess what? To be honest with you. Let us take back control. Yeah. Let God take back control. He provided us with food to take care of our health. And this is an opportunity for us to learn more about the food. And not just learn more about the food, learn more about how you take care of the food so that when that food enters your mouth, it has maximum nutrition as if it's natural. And Chef Jessica, I'd like to say thank you very much. You are what you eat. So watch Chef Jessica today. She's going to show you how it's prepared, how it's cooked, and you're going to see. It's going to taste ba 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 boom. All right, over to you, Chef Jessica. Thank you very much. Right, guys, I'll see you later. Yeah? Bye. All right. All right. Thank you, Mr. Tony, for that wonderful information. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And thank you to all our amazing viewers. I'm sorry if I've not responded to any of your comments in the comments elsewhere on the comment box. Please, I'm sorry. I accept the mistake is from me. I'm sorry. And thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Okay. Without further much ado, uh, let's quickly dive into the cooking straight away. Okay. Before I introduce my recipes, I'm going to first of all wash my hands. Okay. So I'll wash my hands first, and then I will introduce the recipes, and we dive straight in. Uh, we'll be cooking immediately. Hmm. All right. So if you are wondering what I'm making, or rather what I'm cooking on the show today, 
I am cooking water leaf soup with a uh, plantain swallow. Yeah, so I'm going to make all this. I'm going to cook in, I'm going to be preparing all this from raw to finish. Okay, uh, meaning that I'm going to start from scratch to the end product. All right, so for my water leaf soup, I'm going to be using blended crayfish. And this is my water leaf already washed and sliced. Here I have my stockfish. I have my smoked mackerel fish. I have some bubble of onions. And I have some plantain. This is what I'm going to be using uh, for the plantain swallow. So we are going to start this from scratch to finish. Then here I have some red bell peppers. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I have some red bell peppers with red chili and then red scotch bonnets. That is three in one pepper. Here I'm going to be using goat meat. And here I have just a handful of bitter leaf. I'm going to be explaining the reason why I'm adding bitter leaf to my water leaf soup. Okay. And then to taste, I'm going to be using sea salt to taste. And if you look on my slab, I'm not using any form of oil. I'm not using MSG. All I'm using are well, water leaf, crayfish, onion, stockfish, smoked mackerel, bitter leaf, goat meat, red bell pepper, red chilies, red scotch bonnet, and sea salt to taste. All right. Okay, let's start with the cooking immediately. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to start by boiling my pepper. Okay. So the reason why I'm going to be boiling my red bell pepper, red chili, and then my red scotch bonnet is because when you boil it, I'm not using palm oil, when you boil your red bell peppers or your red chilies, the color comes out more, making it to be looking more sharper. If you are not here with me, I'm going to doubt that I did not use red oil. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use as my base. So whenever you are cooking your bitter leaf soup, or you're cooking your melon soup, or you're cooking your obono soup, boil the peppers first. When you boil it first, the color comes out more, looking more sharper as it will be more red. The color will be very sharp. So I'm going to be using our wonderful salad mass ILD cooking system. I'm going to be using this nine qu uh, three quarts, the ones that we use for boiling the yam. Then I remove the inside because I'm not using the inside. Okay, and then I'm going to be using these seven quarts. So this seven quarts is what I'm going to be using for making the soup. Why I use this three quarts to boil my pepper and also to do my plantain swallow. Okay, so this seven quarts, uh, this seven quarts can feed up to 10 people. Okay, and this salad master healthy cooking system is made of titanium 316i. Okay, which is sanitary calibrated to notify you when you are cooking above 86 degrees Celsius. All right, so. For me to boil my pepper first, I love to preheat my cookware. I love to hear that whirl, the sizzling sound from the water. So I'm going to. Whoa. All right. So then I'm going to be adding in my red chilies, my red bell pepper, and my red scotch bonnet. So I'm going to allow this to just simmer for five minutes before I start to blend. Okay. So I already explained the reason why I'm boiling the pepper. All right, so the next one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start by boiling my meat, my goat meat. So my goat meat, I love to marinate it whenever you want to cook your soup. Don't just wash your meat and then put directly, put all your spices and that. It's not going to filtrate inside the meat immediately. You have to marinate it, maybe a few hours, it makes when the uh, meat is cooked, it makes it to be more tasty, even to the bone, uh, uh, even to the bone. Okay, so it's always advisable and more for make your meat to be more sweeter. It's always good to marinate it. Okay, to marinate it. Okay, so I'm going to be using our seven quarts. Already, this go, uh, this goat meat is already washed and prepped. All the items I have on that table slab are already wash and prepped. So I'm going to be adding this. I'm going to turn on my slab. Okay. So then I'm going to be adding sea salt. 
just a little a little sea salt because i already use uh, salt to marinate it and then i'm gonna cover i'm not adding water in there okay all right so while we are waiting for our pepper to boil very properly i'm going to start by blending by slicing my onions here i'm going to be using two bulbs of onions for this soup i love onions a lot and onions is also very good for our health okay when you ever you are cooking do not say you don't like onions if you don't like to see naked onions on your food is but is very advisable to blend it eat a lot of onions because it's good for your skin it's good for your eyes it's also good for your hair growth and for general body maintenance it's very very healthy okay so the code i'm using is code number two salad master uh food processor comes with five different cone sizes uh shape depending on what you want to use it for okay and for easy identification of the numbers the cone the numbers are written underneath the cones and this no kitchen is complete without this food processor or salad master machine hence the name salad master okay so see that i just use code number two and you can see how tiny the onions loose so i'm going to be adding this inside my goat meat onions to have to uh tenderize your meat or your beef or when you add onions or garlic to your meat or to your beef it helps to make it soft on time okay beautiful all right now let's check our pepper so this pepper is already boiled you see that okay so this is ready so i'm going to blend this but i'm not going to blend it while it's hot so i'm going to leave it to cool down a little bit beautiful all right so this is the pepper so here i have my red bell pepper red chilies and red scotch bonnets like i said if you are making a busy soup or your bonnet soup or what is good to blend to boil the peppers first okay so that it brings us the more color or if you don't want to boil it's absolutely optional but trust me when you boil it the color comes out more, 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 more sharp. And if you are the type that like, don't like your food to be very spicy, if you don't want to add the red chilies, I notice some people don't kind of uh, like the red chilies, you can just make do with the red bell pepper and just only this red scotch bonnet because red chili is actually kind of a little spicy. So when you add your red chili and then with your red uh, scotch bonnet, it's going to be extra too spicy. And I know you don't want that okay all right so i'm going to add the eggs inside my blender and i'm going to blend this smooth so you allow this to cool down just a little bit okay beautiful so i'm going to blend with the remaining onion 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 is very good it actually makes your soup to be extra sweet extra delicious okay so i'm going to be adding my onion and i'm going to be adding some water i used to boil the perfect for easy blending okay, now let's blend this smooth beautiful nice and fast okay all right so i've just blended my red chilies my red scotch bonnet and my red bell pepper okay so now i'm going to be adding in my stockfish oh wow 
Notice that I did not add any water while I was boiling the goat meat. Okay, so the goat meat is going to cook with its own natural moisture. And when we are cooking with salad mass, a healthy cooking system, so we do not use high heat. Okay, we use we cook at 86 degrees Celsius, not at 100, because high heat is also one of the enemies to nutrition. So while we are cooking, you don't need to add water to your meat, to your chicken, or to your fish. Just reduce the temperature and then make sure that you cover the cookware properly. The cookware is actually kind of uh, scientifically calibrated you know, and also comes with airtight container, meaning that nothing goes out and nothing go comes in. It keeps the steam intact, so uses its own natural moisture to cook the food by itself. Now, look at what I'm saying. You can see the color. It's already looking yummy. So the reason why I did not pour my pepper immediately, okay, immediately inside the goat meat, I have to boil the goat, uh, the goat meat for some few minutes is because peppers, they are acidic. Okay, they kind of harden your meat or your beans. So when you are cooking your you are cooking your beans and you are using red chilies or red scotch bonnets, please do not add the pepper immediately. Allow the beans to get soft first. Because when you add your pepper immediately, that beans is going to take hours to get soft. The same thing with the meat. So you have to allow your meat to cook a little while and also your beans to get a little soft before you then add your bell peppers. Okay, so... We are going to go on a short break and we will be right back. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a, a big thumbs up. And I would like to hear your comments. I would like to see your comments. Ask me questions on any of the cool food I'm cooking right now or any of the food I've cooked so far. Ask me questions and I promise to get back to you. Thank you so very much. Please do not go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hello, you are welcome back. You are welcome back. All right, so I'm going to start by completing our food. Okay, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And also, we are streaming live on Facebook. Uh, my health is my word. All oh, Salad Master in Nigeria. And we are also streaming. Uh, please also follow us on our Instagram handle at Elder Salad Master. Please book us for a healthy presentation for you and your family, because this cookware will cannot talk by itself. We have to come to the corner of your home or you walk down to our office to show you, to do a beautiful, nice presentation for you and your family on how you can benefit and how you can also see the health value, okay? In our product, like Salad Master, uh, Salad Master Healthy Cooking System. And we are, we are, 76 years old and we are booming 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 all over the world all right so without further much ado i'm going to start by slicing my blending my plantain swallow but before i do that i have to wash all my hands clean okay so this is plantain all oh, preferable is better to use the or the green one you know, the one that is totally green, you know, totally green. For some people who are suffering from diabetes, plantain is good for you, especially the 
unripe one, I mean the green ones, is very good for you. Okay, and plantain too also contains iron, contains potassium, contains fiber, and it can be eaten in, uh, in different varieties depending on what you want it for. You can use this for plantain doubling, fried, baked, cooked, or eaten raw. Like for me, I like to eat plantain raw, especially the one that is very ripe, overly ripe. Okay. And you can also use it as swallow, just like I'm doing now, which I'm going to showcase now. So it's very easy. I prefer, or rather, I will recommend that you do plantain swallow by yourself. Do not get a powdered one because you don't know what is being mixed with. Okay, I prefer the green one or rather the fresh one, the natural one like this is more healthier and contains more nutrients. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this bean blender to blend it. Okay. To blend it. But before I continue with the plantain, let's get back to our water leaf soup. Okay. All right, let's check our water leaf soup. Let's see. Wow. I'm trying so hard not to cough because this pepper is dealing with me here right now. <laughs> okay, so when you are cooking your water leaf, you do not need much water except the water you use in blending your pepper. Because water leaf also has its own natural water, its own natural uh, moisture. Okay, so you do not need extra water, do not add water. Okay, so what I'm going to eat now is I'm going to add in my uh, blended crayfish. Okay, so here I have in my blended crayfish and also added my locust beans, locally known as I blended everything. I do not add everything here. <clears throat> I added in my local beans, locally called Obe. Okay, you can use the dawa dawa or iru, which whatever one you prefer is fine. But I prefer the Obe because I love the aroma. And I'm not using MSG, so I'm using a lot of crayfish. So in here, I have my squeezed bitter leaf. Please do not uh, get the bitter leaf that is squeezed already. Squeeze the bitter leaf by yourself. It's better, more hygienic to squeeze the bitter leaf by yourself. And then the bitter leaf has to be a little bit slightly bitter because the bitterness is actually the medicine. Yeah. So here, I just have a handful of bitter leaf. The reason why I'm adding bitter leaf because water leaf, some people or a lot of people react to water leaf, you know, kind of made them to have a stomach upset. I don't know the reason why that is that, but once you add in your bitter leaf, just a little, okay? It, not, it's, uh, it stops whatever that has to upset your stomach. That's why a lot of people, when they eat vegetable soup, they kind of say, oh, they have a runny stomach, they are purging. It's not because of the whatever, it's because of the water leaf. So for you to kill that or to stop that, you have to add in a little bitter leaf. So when you are cooking your vegetable, just add a little bitter leaf. Okay. Okay. So this is looking absolutely very nice. But the bitter leaf is actually uh, absolutely optional. It's not compulsory that you must add it in. If you don't like it, just do only with the water leaf. But trust me, when you add the water, uh, the bitter leaf is going to be so tasty, so yummy, and delicious too. And then no stories for stomach upset. All right, so here I just added in my fresh smoked mackerel, which is going to help me to, which is going to help the soup to be more tasty, smells nice. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cover this to simmer for about five more minutes all right 
So we're going to allow that to simmer for about five more minutes. We're going to go on a short break and we will be right back. Thank you. I'll be right back shortly. You are welcome back. If you are just joining me on the show and you are wondering what I'm cooking this afternoon, I am cooking water leaf soup with plantain swallow. Okay, thank you for joining me on the show. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, 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 please. I'm begging. And it's absolutely free to subscribe. Yeah, it's free to subscribe. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also give this video a big thumbs up, comment whether you like the food I'm cooking, comment. I want to hear what you have to say concerning this soup. All right. Okay, please also follow us on our Instagram handle at Elzel Salad Master. Right there, we have our water leaf soup cooking nicely. We have the red dog peppers, the goat meat, stock fish, crayfish, uh, locust beans, onions, and then bitter leaf. Okay, so this is my plantain. So I'm just going to finish slicing that up using my wonderful Salad Master food processor. This is my friend. Mm. Okay. So I'm using code number three. You can see how fast and easy. So you use this, uh, this salad master food process. It's a master of fruits and veggies. 
okay? If you are thinking of making salad for thousands, hundreds of people, think of Salad Master food processor. It's very easy, convenient, okay, to use. Okay, so I'm going to be blending this using my using my blender. You have to use a blender so that you can actually blend it very smooth. And also, yeah, you can also do your yam this way, instead of pounding your yam on the mortar. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding little water for easy blending, not so much. And we are going to blend it to be very smooth. Very, very smooth. Okay, so that is fine. Okay, so let's let's check back on our soup, on our water leaf soup. I'm coming to finish the plantain. Let's check, get back on our water leaf soup. Okay, so this is my water leaf already washed as sliced. So please ensure you always wash your water leaf or wash your vegetables first before slicing very very important so that you can retain the medicine all the health benefits that are inside the vegetables okay oh this smells absolutely amazing okay i love the aroma Remember I said you do not have to add water, just little water you use for your pepper to blend your pepper. Okay, now I'm going to be adding this. And the reason why I also uh, add the bitter leaf first instead of the water leaf, because water leaf is very, very fragile. Okay, it doesn't take much to cook, but bitter leaf is a little bit hard. So I need to cook the bitter leaf too when I cook it to also release the aroma. Okay, so I added the water leaf last because water leaf doesn't take much time to cook, and we don't have to cook our vegetables for long, right? So that you can retain the, uh, the nutrients in it. And also, when you cook with salad master healthy cooking system with low heat, you are sure to retain an average of 93% nutrients. This our water leaf soup is looking very yummy. Okay, so in here, if you are wondering what I use for my water leaf soup, I use uh, red bell pepper, red chilies, red scotch bonnet, also locally known as atarodo. I use crayfish, stockfish, smoked mackerel fish. I use goat meat. I use crayfish. And I use some bulbs of onions, no palm oil, no MSG, and just only sea salt to taste. And of course, plenty of crayfish. Then I use our wonderful African spice known as locust beans, locally called Obe in Igbo language. Okay. All right. So back to our back to our plantain. So I'm going to just this is already too smooth, but I'm going to add a little more water. It's kind of thick. So when it's too thick, it's, gonna, it's not going to blend very well. It's going to be hard for the, the blender uh, mouth to flow easily. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, beautiful. Okay. Hmm, and it also smells amazing. So this is it. Okay. All right, so we are going to blend the eggs. So I'm going to, to make this using my three quarts. So first I have to do is to hone my hub, turn on my hub. Okay. Yeah. Turn on my hub. And then we pour straight up. No need of preheating it. Okay, so this is the blended plantain. See how that looks? Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Mm. So you don't have to kind of eat it uh, uh, about all the time or semovita all the time. You know, you can also make your plantain swallow. If you don't want to use the semi ripe just like I did, you can just do the total green one, which is more healthier. And ensure that the plantain swallow is on low heat. Do not put the heat on high too much, just on low heat and then gradually stir it until it begins to form or rather it begins to thicken. Okay. Just like the same, but it's not the same process with Amara because when you want to make your Amara, you have to put in the, we have to boil the water first, allow the water to boil before you pour in your Amara gent uh, little by little until it begins to thicken. And there are different, different ways of making swallows. So also with, uh, what's it called now? Semolina or wheat. You don't just boil the water and then you pour and the stirring. You have to dissolve the semolina in a separate bowl as if you are making pap. Okay? And then you pour a little and then you pour it inside the water. Stir it a little bit before you now add the raw one. By doing that, it's going to make the semolina to be more fluffy, more smoother, and very good. But for plantain swallow, just pour it straight and keep on stirring until you begin to notice that it's thickening. As you are turning it and stirring it, it's thickening. Okay. All right, so that is it for our plantain swallow. So then I'm going to quickly check on our soup. Wow. Our water leaf soup is ready. See, because I use salad mass, a healthy cooking system to cook this soup, you can see the vegetables are still looking very clean. I mean, very green, fresh, as if it did not touch fire at all. So this, our soup is ready. I have to turn off the hob. So this is ready. And then back to our swallow. This is beginning to form. Wow. So easy, simple. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscription is free. Comment and also like. Hello, Mr. Tony. Are you still there with me? Hello. Chef Jessica. Hi. I carried away with my cooking. I totally forget Mr. Tony was so still with me. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, how are you doing? I can see you staring. I can see you staring. Yeah? Yeah? I can see you yeah. staring, Chef Jessica. Yeah? How are you doing? Um, well, you know what? Um, the, the, the vegetables, if you can open it up, it looks very, very colorful, very nice and green. Just while you're stirring your plantain, just give us a breakdown again for those of the, us that are new that are on here. What's in there? What is in there? Um, okay. Okay, for my uh, for my. Sorry. I have a uh, bit. Okay, let me start from the base first. I have red bell pepper. I use red bell pepper. Right. Red chilies, red Scotch bonnet, locally known as atarodo in Yoruba. Then right. I use oh uh, yeah. Then mm -hmm. I use crayfish, stockfish. Okay. Okay. Smoked mackerel, fish, right. okay. goat meat, okay. 
yeah crayfish okay water leaf and then bitter leaf and for Great. my yeah then i use the salt to taste fantastic for taste. And, and for some people that have uh a salad master which is the system that you're using right now um wh what does the what do they do they do they put it as normal on a medium heat uh, and then uh, wait for it to click and turn it low is that the is that what happens yeah yeah good 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 fantastic fantastic so as we can see we've got the what's it called again the water leaf water leaf yeah is it uh, water leaf, water leaf water leaf fantastic yeah. fantastic and then what do you have there you're stirring like it looks like a porridge is it a porridge you know i'm from the you know i'm nigerian but i was born in the uk i i'm sorry i apologize for all the nigerians that are listening to me right now i'm for, uh, so what do we have there what, what what have you got there you've got plantain Plan, yeah plantain this is uh, this is semi ripe plantain i'm turning this as my swallow so this is what we are going to be eating the water right. leaf soup with so was this done from scratch this plantain mm -hmm. Was yes, I start from scratch. Wow! So you took plantain and you 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 you've just uh, cooked it and pounded it. Is that right? No, I took the plantain. I yep. cut it into slices. Okay. Blend it very smooth and then pour straight inside salad masa cookware and start turning. Wow! Wow! And it's coming up nice, guys. You know what? I've tasted this one before and it tastes so good. It tastes so good. You know, it, some of you go and buy that packet of plantain, the, the one that says plantain swallower, it's a powder. You know, I, it doesn't taste as good as a natural one. And it doesn't taste so good when it's cooked in Salad Master. Whoa! You know, because, you know, Salad Master, I like to say thank you to the sponsor, Salad Master, giving us the cookware to use for the cook show. Because you, you know why we use Salad Master? Because we want the best. Nigeria has the best food Nigeria or Africa in general has the best food in the world. Natural, natural. But guess what? If you want the best from the best, you use the best. Did you get that? If you want the best food, <laughs> if you want the best from the best, you use the best. So in Salad Master, in this show here, we use Salad Master. We want to use, we want to use a cookware where basically it's made of 316 titanium, titanium. And therefore, we are able to resist any chemical reactions with the acids and enzymes from the food, and it's pure. It's it, it's pure. It, no 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 contamination of metal coming in. So you have proper food. You know, one of the things that we I always say to a lot of people, if there is if there's challenges in your family, health challenges in your family, and you all have that health challenge, then you, the first place you need to look at is the food that you eat, and the engine room. The engine room to the food that you eat is the kitchen. The kitchen is the engine room. And what happens in that kitchen? If good things happen in that kitchen, that engine room, good things are going to happen in the family. If things that are not so good happen there, then unfortunately, we have something called lifestyle diseases. Listen carefully. Lifestyle diseases. Diseases that are created by your lifestyle. Yeah? But guess what? You can make a change in your lifestyle. And what we say in Salad Master, look at your cookware very carefully. Does it represent you? Does it represent what you believe in? The cookware, the Salad Master, thank you very much. Salad Master is the best in the world. And thank you very much, Chef Jessica. So I'm going to hand over to you, Chef Jessica, because they're tired of me talking. I believe right. you are what you eat. We are no. not designed to stay alive because, from drugs. There are some people today that cannot be alive today unless they take their drug today. We need to take back control. And taking back control is having this natural food. Yeah, natural food, not processed food, natural food from a natural farm. Yeah, cooked by a natural cookware. So, Chef Jessica, over to you. Over to you. All Chef right. Jessica. Okay, okay, okay. So, thank you, Mr. Tony. So now our food is ready, our watali soup is ready, and our plantain swaro is also ready. It's time for dishing and also time for eating. The excitement is in the eating. <laughs> okay. So love. So the first thing I'm gonna dish is our plantain swallow. So this is plantain swaro and it's ready. You see? Wow, fluffy and smooth okay mm. 
Wow. See wow. how fluffy, yeah. Chef how Jessica, fluffy it looks. That is plantain. Very smooth. That is plantain. That is what we, yeah. that plantain is usually what we fry. We usually fry that plantain, don't we? And yeah, sometimes yeah, we, we boil it. To. But this is now plantain swallow, the same plantain. We're swallowing it. We're swallowing it. We're making mm -hmm. swallow out of it. Yeah. Wow. Cooked in the Salad Master 316 titanium. Wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I have to dish by the side the water leaf soup. Beautiful. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'm missing Nigeria now. <laughs> I really wish I'm missing Nigeria now. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 wow. whoa. 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 Okay. Okay, so our lunch is ready. Plantain swallow, pearled with water leaf soup. Cook inside Salad Master healthy cooking system made of titanium 316 Ti. Hmm. I can't wait to test this, Mr. Tony. I can't wait to test this. Uh, you know, you know what, Chef Jessica? I am jealous. I'm jealous. But guys, uh, you know, uh, this is amazing. Less than an hour. You can cook natural food less than an hour. And this is Chef Jessica cooking this food. Remember, we started, what, at 11 o'clock? Cooked in Salad Master. Record speed. No high heat. Don't destroy your food. Don't burn your food. Don't destroy your food with high heat. Remember, we get that natural food from the farm. We need to protect it before so that we can actually enjoy it. So, guys, Chef Jessica, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. Do you want to say anything else, Chef Jessica, before I, I, I leave the scene? Because I'm all, getting... all I have to say is thank you to all our subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Thank you to LZ Region. Thank you to Salad Master all over the world. Thank you to my amazing viewers. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Thank you all so very much from me to you. Thank you. Lots of love from me. Thank you. And I'd like to say on behalf of our viewers, thank you, Chef Jessica, for the amazing work you're putting in every day, always researching into how we can do things better, how we can research in all around Nigeria. Thank you very much for going all around Nigeria mm -hmm. and providing us all these amazing foods and amazing recipes. And guys, if you want to take care of your health, consider first changing your cookware. Change your cookware, change your life. The other thing you can do, join our Health Restore program. Yeah, make a commitment to change your health in 30 days. If you want to know more about the Health Restore program, please contact us on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel, and we'll tell you more. You can change your life by changing your cookware. You can change your life by coming on to one of the health programs. And if you, any of you haven't seen the Salad Master presentation before, please contact us. We are here in VI Lagos, Nigeria, and we are all around Nigeria. And if you're interested in joining us, if you're a chef and you're interested in joining us, please contact us because we have lots of customers all around Nigeria that actually want to find out chefs that can cook this way, healthy way, without any oil, without any, any, any extra seasoning and so on. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Chef Jessica. Thank and you. thank you very much. And thank you for the staff behind it. Bye. 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 You are what you eat. Thank you, Salad Master 316 Titanium. 316 Titanium. See, have a presentation and see what it's all about. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.